After five days of storms, Wollongong locals are out enjoying the fresh air, but the sand and the sea aren't so fresh today. Pucky's Beach is littered with aerosol cans, mattresses, anything you can find really, plastic bags, an old TV. It makes me wonder, if Australia's beaches are the best in the world, why aren't we looking after them? The pollution on the beach is just a reflection of the people that are just too lazy to either recycle or get rid of it in, in the way they should dispose of it. They just throw it and it just ends up on our coastline and uh, on some of our parks. Michael, who's an amateur photographer, was fascinated by the rubbish on the shore. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, television on the beach, I've never seen that. Environmental organisations such as Take 3 are working to minimise the impact of plastics on our oceans. I spoke with Mandy, a Take 3 representative, who wasn't surprised to hear about the rubbish on Pocky's Beach. She said that plastic gets washed out to sea, breaks down into tiny particles and becomes more toxic the longer it's been in the water. According to environmental scientists, plastic waste is one of the five biggest ecological problems of our time. Litter from the east coast of Australia usually ends up in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. This marine wasteland is more than twice the size of Victoria. Mandy from Take 3 says we need to adopt a sustainable approach to living. The organisation has a simple message. Take three bits of plastic when you leave the beach. It may be too late to reverse the human impact on the Pacific Ocean, but it's never too late to take more care and leave only footprints.